In the last exercise in this lesson, we are going back to the initial uh, data worksheet on top of which we will create a new pivot table. And inside this exercise, we will uh, generate a pivot table and then we will discover how to go from the calculation, from the aggregation, so from some kind of general result to a more detailed view on what causes this result. So this is a kind of root cause analysis, uh, which will take us from uh, the top view uh, to the detailed view. But first, let's create the desired pivot table layout. We place order priority on rows, packaging type on columns, transport type on filters and whatever field you wish on values to calculate the number of rows. Uh, I'm using order ID to generate the calculation. Then we are going to filter the transport type only to the R standard. And now I'm ready to ask deeper questions to my data. For example, what has happened for the container packaging type that we had a critical order priority. To get answer to this question, it's enough to double left click the cell on the junction of the container and critical uh, headers to generate a new worksheet, as you can see on bottom of the screen, which is kind of copy of your data source worksheet and uh, that will contain all of the rows that answer this uh, question. And right now you can analyze who placed the order, uh, what was the product ordered, and uh, find the interesting information you wish. Of course, you can generate as many uh, analysis, as many new worksheets like this uh, as you wish. So if I pick, for example, big box and low, I double left click this particular cell. Uh, I go to a new worksheet where I have only 98 uh, rows and then you can confirm that the uh, order priority is low only, packaging type is uh, big box, transport type is error standard. You can filter the data as you wish, you can create calculations on top of that and you can even create a new pivot table by either using summarize with pivot table or insert a pivot table. This is like a separate data source not connected to anything you have right now in your worksheet. What is more, you can also click other conjunc conjunctions, including the grand total rows and columns. So if we pick the container and grand total, for example, and we have in here five rows, if you double left click this uh, particular cell, you're going to get five um, rows coming from this summary row. And exactly the same applies to the uh, last cell in the pivot table, which is the grand total and grand total. It gives us 7000 uh, rows right now. And if you double left click it, you generate a new worksheet with all of this uh, rows that you had on the grand total. Summing up, drilling down is a kind of uh, interesting and important operations. It's good to know it. Thank you very much for this lesson and see you in lesson number three.